I really felt like we were friends. She made us enemies in a way that I couldn't. The 2024 Super Bowl extravaganza was a culmination of excitement and anticipation, drawing millions of viewers to their screens for a night of unparalleled entertainment. Held at a packed stadium, the event promised to deliver a spectacle like no other, with top-tier performers poised to captivate audiences worldwide. Months before the big game, anticipation soared as Usher, a seasoned performer with a string of hits and a legendary stage presence, was announced as the headliner for the halftime show. Fans eagerly awaited the opportunity to witness Usher's electrifying performance, expecting nothing short of a historic moment in Super Bowl history. As the day of the Super Bowl approached, the buzz surrounding Usher's performance reached a fever pitch. Media outlets speculated about the set list, potential surprises, and the sheer magnitude of the spectacle that Usher was poised to deliver. Excitement rippled through social media platforms, with fans counting down the days, hours, and minutes until they could witness Usher's iconic performance live. Meanwhile, the broader context of the Super Bowl added to the anticipation. The event was not just about football. It was a cultural phenomenon, a celebration of music, entertainment, and celebrity culture culture on a global scale. With millions of eyes tuned in from around the world, the Super Bowl halftime show held immense significance, offering performers a platform to showcase their talent to an unprecedented audience. Against this backdrop of anticipation and excitement, Usher's performance loomed large, promising to be a highlight of the Super Bowl spectacle. Little did anyone know, however, that Usher's moment in the spotlight would soon be overshadowed by another headline-grabbing event, setting the stage for a clash of titans on one of the world's biggest stages. When Usher took the stage at the 2024 Super Bowl halftime show, the anticipation reached a crescendo. With a career spanning decades and a reputation as one of the greatest entertainers of his generation, Usher was poised to deliver a performance for the ages. As the lights dimmed and the crowd erupted into cheers, Usher launched into a high-energy medley of his greatest hits, seamlessly blending chart-topping singles with electrifying dance moves. From Yeah to Burn, each song elicited roars of approval from the audience, who sang along with every word. Backed by a troupe of dancers whose precision and agility matched his own, Usher commanded the stage with effortless charisma, captivating viewers with his magnetic presence. His smooth vocals soared through the stadium, showcasing the vocal prowess that had made him a household name. But it wasn't just Usher's performance skills that dazzled the audience. It was his ability to connect with fans on a deeper level. With each song, he transported viewers on a journey through his illustrious career, evoking nostalgia and emotion in equal measure. As the performance reached its climax, Usher pulled out all the stops, delivering a show-stopping finale that left the audience breathless. With fireworks lighting up the sky and the crowd on their feet, Usher cemented his status as a Super Bowl legend, breaking records and making history with a performance that would be remembered for years to come. Despite the overwhelming success of his halftime show, however, Usher's moment in the spotlight would soon be overshadowed by unexpected events, setting the stage for a clash of egos and a battle for attention on one of the biggest nights in entertainment. As Usher dazzled audiences with his record-breaking halftime performance, Beyonce was preparing to make her mark in a way that only she could. While the spotlight was firmly on Usher, Beyonce saw an opportunity to steal the show and capture the world's attention. Partnering with Verizon for a high-stakes advertising campaign, Beyonce leveraged her star power to maximum effect. With a one-minute commercial that reportedly cost $30 million, she delivered a masterclass in marketing and promotion. The advertisement, which featured Beyonce in various scenarios showcasing the power of Verizon's 5G network, was meticulously crafted to build anticipation and generate buzz. But it was the cryptic phrase, drop the music, that sent fans into a frenzy, igniting speculation about a surprise album release. True to form, Beyonce capitalized on the moment, dropping two new songs, Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages, without warning. The unexpected release sent shockwaves through the music industry, dominating headlines and overshadowing even the most talked about events of the Super Bowl. For Beyoncé, it was a calculated move designed to reclaim the spotlight and assert her dominance in an industry where attention is currency. By strategically timing her announcement to coincide with one of the biggest television events of the year, she ensured that all eyes would be on her, cementing her status as a pop culture icon with unparalleled influence. But as Beyoncé basked in the glow of her latest triumph, little did she know that her actions would spark controversy and ignite tensions with another music industry heavyweight, setting the stage for a clash of titans that would captivate the world. While the world marveled at Beyoncé's strategic maneuver, Usher, the undisputed king of the Super Bowl halftime show, was left feeling overshadowed and slighted. Rumors began to swirl that Usher felt aggrieved by Beyoncé's announcement, viewing it as a deliberate attempt to steal his thunder on what should have been his night to shine. Despite delivering a performance for the ages and breaking records as the 
the most watched halftime show in Super Bowl history, Usher found himself relegated to the sidelines as the conversation shifted to Beyonce's surprise album drop. For a performer of Usher's caliber, accustomed to commanding the spotlight with ease, it was a bitter pill to swallow. Sources close to Usher revealed that he harbored feelings of frustration and resentment towards Beyonce, believing that her decision to unveil her album during the Super Bowl was a calculated move to upstage him. He viewed the advertisement as a blatant attempt to hijack the narrative and divert attention away from his historic performance. In an attempt to reclaim the spotlight, Usher made a bold move by publicly announcing his wedding to his longtime girlfriend shortly after the Super Bowl. However, his efforts to shift the focus back to himself were met with mixed reactions, with many questioning the timing and sincerity of his announcement. As fans and industry Industry insiders weighed in on the brewing controversy, opinions were divided. Some sympathized with Usher, acknowledging his right to feel slighted by Beyonce's strategic maneuver. Others viewed his reaction as petty and opportunistic, arguing that Beyonce's dominance was simply a testament to her unparalleled star power. In the midst of the escalating drama, one thing was clear. Tensions were running high between two music industry giants, setting the stage for a clash of egos that would captivate audiences and dominate headlines for weeks to come. As news of Usher's alleged grievances and Beyonce's strategic moves spread like wildfire, fans and music enthusiasts alike found themselves caught in the crossfire of a heated debate. On social media platforms, reactions were swift and impassioned, with fans taking sides and defending their favorite artists with fervor. Some staunch supporters of Usher rallied behind him, condemning Beyonce for what they perceived as a calculated attempt to steal his moment in the spotlight. They argued that Beyonce's actions were disrespectful and undermined Usher's historic performance at the Super Bowl. Conversely, Beyonce's loyal fan base, known affectionately as the Bayhive, vehemently defended her actions, dismissing Usher's allegations as baseless and petty. They pointed to Beyonce's track record of success and her right to promote her music however she saw fit, regardless of the timing or circumstances. Amidst the flurry of opinions and heated exchanges, a nuanced debate emerged regarding the intersection of fame, ego, and artistic expression in the music industry. Some questioned whether Usher's reaction was justified or simply a manifestation of wounded pride while others pondered the ethical implications of using major events like the Super Bowl as platforms for personal promotion. As the discourse unfolded, it became evident that the clash between Usher and Beyoncé had struck a chord with fans, sparking introspection and dialogue about the nature of celebrity and the lengths artists will go to command attention in an increasingly competitive landscape. Ultimately, the debate transcended individual allegiances, serving as a reflection of broader cultural dynamics and the evolving dynamics of fame in the digital age. The aftermath of the 2024 Super Bowl brought to light a clash of titans between two music icons, Usher and Beyoncé, igniting a contentious debate among fans and industry observers alike. What began as a celebration of Usher's historic performance quickly transformed into a battleground of egos and strategic maneuvers. Usher's spectacular showmanship, breaking records as the most-watched halftime performance in history, was eclipsed by Beyoncé's strategic marketing coup, a surprise album announcement during a high-profile commercial break. This move, while celebrated by Beyoncé's fans as a stroke of genius, left a bitter taste in the mouths of some Usher supporters who felt their idol had been overshadowed on his big night. The subsequent allegations of Usher feeling sidelined by Beyoncé's calculated move only served to fan the flames of controversy, sparking a fervent debate over the ethics of self-promotion in the music industry. As fans took to social media to voice their opinions, lines were drawn, and tensions ran high as supporters of each artist rallied behind their respective idols. Yet, amidst the discord, there emerged a deeper conversation about the nature of fame, power dynamics in the music industry, and the delicate balance between artistic expression and self-promotion. While opinions varied widely, one thing was clear. The showdown between Usher and Beyoncé had struck a chord, prompting reflection and dialogue about the evolving landscape of celebrity culture. As the dust settled and the spotlight shifted to other headlines, the legacy of the 2024 Super Bowl lived on, a testament to the enduring power of music to captivate, inspire, and divide audiences in equal measure. In the end, the clash between Usher and Beyoncé served as a reminder that in the world of entertainment, fame is a double-edged sword, capable of both uniting and dividing fans in a divisive showdown. 